Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over five more solo queue setups that will help you in your rank games right now. So you guys really wanted a part two to this. I did the last one a couple days ago now, um, but I did want to do another one for you. I know I haven't uploaded any full solo queue games in a few days now. You may be a little bit more even, but those will be coming back, I promise. I just honestly haven't been playing recently. Um, outside of uh, another secret project that I'm doing for the channel, so... I've already announced a little bit about that on the YouTube community post thing, but if you haven't seen that though, go check that out. But besides those facts that are in that post, it is a secret. I think you guys will really enjoy it though. Anyways, let's get right into this one. So we're going to be starting on the defense here. This is going to be a good one. My hold I always do on Villa. If you watch my videos, you'll see this all the time. Um, you can use other ops too. I know Malusi is good for this. I used to do Mozzie all the time. Um... But we're going to be holding main stairs. That's going to be our point of interest for the round. This is a big power spot for Villa. I always talk about power spots in my videos for the defense. But from the main stairs, I can hold this door right here, which is study. And that leads right to the aviator door as well. So this is a huge hot spot. Hopefully your team makes head holes here. If not, that's the first thing you should be doing. Because this does make it harder for them to enter than it even is with you being on main. They'll have to worry about these two. And your teammates can hold crosses with you. Even if you're solo queue. You'll just have to hope they do. Then you reinforce the rest of these walls. So come down main stairs. I always put a prox like right here. This is a really hidden one. They never expected to be on this lamp thing. So right when they get to this point about, they're like stuck in the open. They would have to turn around completely, run away, or just keep pushing forward, and you will know they're there. And it's a free swing, because usually I just sit here in this area, like right here, because I'm protected from this wall here. And I just always do some quick peeks up on there. But yeah, playing in this spot here, you can just pre-fire right away. Free kill anybody walking out on the main double door here. You can even challenge it if you want. There's like a pixel right there you can see. Like that. In case the door isn't open quite yet. But just be ready for them to run in. And then of course you have this area too and library. So just be wary of that. That's why you should always just chill here and not over peek. Because then you can wait right there. Free headshot every time. You can just play off sound for that. Um, if you don't want to do this one, if you don't think they're going to push the main door, or if you notice, like, last round they didn't, like, they didn't even bother opening it or anything for ghost pressure, just put your mine right here instead. That's another good spot. That will be, that will come in handy later in case you're, like, above the stairs later on, holding an angle, but usually since I play on it, I'd rather just put it farther away. I feel like that just helps more and gets more info for you. For your next prox mine, you want to come over to that study door I was mentioning. Put it, like, here. That way they can't shoot it from this window right here. If you put it on the right side, they're going to see it. But stick it right in there, and now they won't. The only ways that will um, be gotten rid of is like a Twitch drone, a Brava drone, EMP maybe, but that's rare. Um, but if you're playing like right here too, you can watch drones. Usually they will drone before somebody enters in. I think in my last video doing this strat, I got like a Brava drone and a regular drone, like two in one. And then I destroy the Brava. Again, you can do this with like, people like Malusi as well. Just put like a Banshee here, a Banshee instead of a Mine up there. And then you can give the other one to your team somewhere. Any Trap Op works really with Barb or Proxes. I just like doing this with Wamai because now I can start stashing these here. The attackers sometimes like throwing Ace Charges on these walls from outside. Especially if you reinforce this double wall too. They'll start trying to Ace Charge and this will catch at least two of them there unless they burn. Usually it will get one, and they'll try to get the second one with stuns or whatever. But you can also keep on just replacing them. Like so. And you can put one for yourself even, farther up. You can put one here for the stairs in case they do enter below you. Use your other one for that later. I think, um... Well, my is like the best operator for doing this. If you're trying your hardest to win the round. But there are other choices too that I do like. Like I said, it's all personal preference. For these strats that I show you in these videos, you don't have to go the exact operator I'm going. Um, I usually do these strats with like multiple different ops if I need to. And that's a good strat to have when you're solo queue because sometimes you will get your operator taken from you. And you don't want to like completely change what you're doing. You can just fill it in with somebody else and learn how to play around it. That's a good little solo queue tip. But I think that's going to be it for this site. You don't have to do any like reinforcing really. Um, another tip I guess I can give you... There should be footholds on this wall and then reinforce this one. Let's just say there's footholds across the whole thing now. So reinforce the right. I'll go over all this kind of stuff in my villa setup video. I will keep uh, making those ones too for you guys. So yeah, just like that. 
Same with this wall, foothold on the right. Reinforce this one. Now that's for when the attackers are pushing like up 90 right here. It's going to be a one way. If you hold these holes, they're not going to see it coming and they're just dead. But you do want to reinforce this so they can't get angles right in the site. Same with this wall if they end up taking short from you right here. Now they won't have sight and then you could hold these angles even. Careful though, they can see both ways if it does open up like this. So just be watching it. Usually I do survive here or at least take like one or two with me every single round that I play main stairs. So if you guys can start really learning this position, it will help you a ton in your solo queue games with winning this site. So for this next strat, you're going to pick Ace, and it's going to be for the basement bomb site of Clubhouse. Um, this one can get a little bit iffy sometimes. If your team's already going for this hatch, you're going to be going for the kitchen hatch, by the way. So come out of spawn, shoot the camera here. You want to spawn construction site, by the way. Um, just be watching for any peaks. Like, sometimes they'll peek you from here. Sometimes people will run out jacuzzi right there. Um, watch dirt, too, in case somebody, like, impacts this wall. I've seen that before where I spawn here. They impact this wall, wait a few seconds, and run out. So just be careful for that. There are some crazy people unranked. Um, now it's up to you if you want to use your first age charge for dirt. That's what I'll usually do sometimes, but I'm going to save it in case I mess this uh, strat up for you guys. So we'll see if we get it first time or not. So what I do first is open this door. I'll show you where I put my pre-placed drone to since those are very important. So since I spawn here, I can quickly get in the kitchen right when the round starts. Like the prep phase. Jump it up here on this, and there you go. That's pretty much it. Now I can see if they're um, going for the hatch, if anybody's playing like holes above, which will be very important for this strat. So there you go. Also good to see if there's any like Valcams in sight. So instead of actually going in kitchen though, once the round starts, you will go upstairs. It is important to have breach charges as well for this hatch and for what else I'm about to show you. So blow that. Usually you want to drone this just to make sure it's clear. Sometimes there'll be some like rats in the corner. Again, somebody holding those holes like onto the hatch. So just check everything. This is a good calf spot, by the way. Be prone back here. But that's for another video. Okay, so I made it I made sure it's clear it's solo queue. You can't drone every part of the map, unfortunately. Come down here, breach charge right here on this rug. Like looking downwards. Ooh, see that's a bit iffy sometimes with how it breaks. Shoot a little bit of a hole right here like I did. And now this is the good part. Pretend this hatch is reinforced, by the way. If you didn't know, two ace charges get the hatch open. So with the new projectile throw, you can see exactly where it's going to land. Like you see right here, it's not going to go through the floor. If you throw it right here, put it to the right a little bit, just like this. Even if this hatch is cated now, it will not get like destroyed by the cage charge. So throw it like right there. There you go. That's perfect. You want these to extend onto it. Now obviously it opens since it's soft, but even if it's reinforced, two of these will open the hatch every single time. So let's try to throw another one down there. Just like that. There you go. You want both of these pieces to land on there. Don't throw it too close. Throw it a little bit to the right so it doesn't get electrocuted though. If there is a Cade Claw on the hatch. Um, even if there's not one, do it just in case they, like, try to cage trick it later on. The only way they can counter this is by impact tricks, but hopefully you will have a, um, teammate doing at least some breach on the site. It is ranked you're playing, so usually they're not going to be impact tricking the hatch. That's another good strat you can do on defense, but if they impact your first age stars, don't even waste the second one. You'll still have two left. Usually in ranked, they're not going to impact trick. Let's be honest, like 95% of the time you'll be good to get that hatch. So now just come down main. You can use your drones a little bit too. Get that. Now you can use your last two aces just right on this hatch if it's not electrocuted. That's what I would recommend. Again, last one for dirt. So now right there, unless the impact tricked it, you can get the hatch by yourself, even if it's cated, and you can get dirt. Now if dirt's cated, you can't really do much about this, to be honest. But if there are like bandit batteries or jammers or something, you can go on this drone hole and shoot them too. Little trick if you didn't know. Again, always be worried about this window. Yeah, this is a nice strat I like to use to counter Cade, though, when he's down there. And yeah, the other bonus is you can't get a C4 obviously doing this. This is another good trick to do is Buck as well, if you just go up top, because the Buck shotgun does reach. It does reach these floors. Or even, like, Fuse you can do that with. Maybe I'll do the Fuse version for one of these sometime. But yeah, I hope this one helped you. Another trick, since you do have one Breach Charge for later, 
Once you come down main stairs, breach right here. Right here is the default cam. I just blew the default cam up under main stairs. A lot of times I do like pushing down main if you don't have the diffuser. If you have the diffuser, you probably should go for the hatch drop and try to plant. But it is solo queue, so your team's probably going to be all dead anyways, let's be honest. That's pretty much going to do it for this side, though. This is a pretty simple one for attacking. I know you guys want the attack strats, too, because it is harder to uh, attack in solo queue, obviously. So this is a reliable one you can use every time to counter Cade or C4s from below. If Cade's banned, by the way, I do not recommend doing this. There's not really a point. You could just go Habana, and it can counter impact tricking by repelling on the kitchen window up there. So I only do this if Cade is in play. Even if they don't bring Cade, they could have one, so... I will be using this in my full solo queue games, by the way, like I mentioned earlier. I will be doing those again soon, don't worry. I promise. Okay, we've loaded onto the next strat. This is going to be a defense strat on the top floor of layer. I know a lot of people want to see some layer strats, like some of the newer maps. This is going to be the video for you, honestly. Um, stick around to the end. There's going to be an Emerald Plains defense strat as well, similar to this one. Also, I do want to make it clear that last strat, by the way, it does counter Cades. Like, if you throw it on the floor that way, even if that hatch is electrified. I know I said it, but I just want to get that across if some people don't think it does. That does counter the uh, Cades on the hatch. I don't know why the Ace doesn't get destroyed by it like that, but it just doesn't. So, just how it is. Okay, for this layer strat, you want to come over here to the back hallways. This is kind of where you're going to be playing. Um, first LMI, I'm going to go right up top right here. Just stick it right in the corner. Now, anybody coming around here, this is the outside door, by the way. A lot of people try to rush in back here with a drone or something. They're never going to see this mine in this top corner. They're going to drone right past it. They're going to see it's clear, probably. They have to drone all the way here to see you. If you play right here behind the mine, right when it goes off, free swing, free headshot, usually. As long as you can uh, hit your shots, of course. But yeah, I do this mine quite a bit. It always works. I would recommend it. This strat, by the way, does work with Fenrir. I'm using Ella for this because Fenrir's nearly every game banned. Like 80% of the time, probably. Fenrir's going to be banned, so... This does work with him, though. Just put the Fenrir at the exact same spot. Fenrir probably works for most of my Ella strats. They're kind of interchangeable. Again, I have to use Ella if Fenrir's banned or something. Or if I don't have them on my account. Okay, next you want to put some barbed wire lower on these green stairs. That's just for any, like, crouch walkers or lurkers, little rats, like, running around downstairs. You'll be able to hear the barb. You can also hear them before the barb and shoot them if you didn't know. You can see right here on the stairs, that's the barb wire. A lot of people don't even know this angle exists, but it is very good. Since you're already playing here anyway, you can just quickly turn and see. Just be careful of sound. Next barb wire, gonna go right here in this doorway. Just like so. Now, for the next Elamine, I put this after the barb. Usually they will try to get rid of this if they push this doorway. So I'll put the Elamine, like, right here. Stick it right in the corner. That will go off when they get to, like, this point now. So if they only destroy the barb, like, right here, it won't even go off. And then, boom, they're stuck in the open. Free kill, because you can just swing them at that point. If you're just waiting for the Elamine to trigger right here. Free kill. And now, if you see they're not pushing this door, you can pick up your Elamine for later as well. And just throw wherever they are pushing. Um, for my last Elamine, I usually throw this one right when I spawn in to help the team. I'll do it over here on uh, Operational. Either throw it like right here for later when they're walking past this point, or this point, or just throw it on the door to help your team out. I do like giving my team some utility too. I don't need it all, but... And if you don't put the uh, barb on that back doorway since you already have an Elamine there too, I'd recommend the barb like here or something. Maybe even lower main. A lot of people like walking up here including myself, so that wouldn't be too bad there. I think that's pretty much it. This is a pretty simple strat. You basically just play off your Elamine if they push that door, and I would say they do at least like over half the time I've found in my game, so should be free kills for you. All right, so we've loaded onto the next map. This is going to be a coastline attack strat for the upstairs bomb site, the hookah and billiards one, which is the most common site on the map. So you can do this right out of the gate when you start your attack side. So first, for the pre-placed drone, as I've said before, these are very important for your attack strats. So I'll always show you where I put mine. So jump up here into office. This is an easy one to get. You can get this every single time. We're onto these books. 
keep it on like the left side. Now you can see the entire room. You can see if they're trying to spawn peek this door. You can see later if they're trying to run out on you. What you'll be doing is going on this rappel right here for the uh, aqua side. Now when you're coming out of spawn, you're going to want to be careful. Again, if you see there's nobody here in your drone, you don't have to worry about this door. You have to worry about this run out right here. And even if the barricade is up, sometimes they will go to it and crouch through. Here, I'll go show you. Because why not? Might as well be extra detailed here to help you. Let's see if I can do it right. I never do this myself. Yeah, kind of like that. They can crouch out the barricade like that. And on your screen, it looks like it's still up and everything. And they'll peek you just like so. So let me show you what it looks like now still on your screen. See, on yours, it looks like the barricade's fully up still. Like, you can't see any piece of that broken from your point of view. So then they'll crouch out, kill you. So now your randoms will just die from that, or you will die from that. And you'll just be like, how do they do that? Well, that is how. Um, so always be watching this just in case. I always hold it for a few seconds. Keep moving too, and then fry them. I'm so used to somebody spawn peeking that, I win the fight every single time. If you guys watch my videos, I kill that all the time doing that on Coast. And then watch for this one too. They'll always be peeking like right here. I killed somebody last video from that. There's a jiggle peek from this side. Free one tap. They're always peeking from that. And then shoot your defaults after the spawn peaks are clear. You can shoot both of them from this side. Now, you want to come up to this door. This is very important. Try to keep your claymore edge like right there. Don't put it like this because it's easier to shoot for them to run out. Try to line it up just like this so it kills them immediately when they run out the door. See, now you see the lasers like right there at it. I always double this up too, so just put another one on this side. And I'm pretty sure this claymore is still going to kill them if I break the door out and run in the middle. But either way, you're protected from both sides now. I always double claymore this. So you'll be good. Free kill every time. And you got to hope your teammates don't break this door and try to enter from here. If they do, they'll probably die. Then you'll just have to be a little bit more careful if this barricade's opened up. Um, first thing I do when I come up here too... I shoot the glass off this so now I can hear if the defenders break the barricade. So just be wary of that. Sometimes they'll try to peek you from luggage. I almost forgot, but another thing I do before I even come up, like when I see this, I hold it for a few seconds still, but I throw a drone. Just like so, and now you can see if they're running out or not. I do that every time before I actually like come out of the spawn. Okay, so back to where we were though. So since your drone's already going to be up here, go a little bit lower so you don't get peeked from anywhere on this repel. Just like this. Take a look on your drone. Try not to be too obvious with it. Like, keep your drone quiet. You don't want to be moving too fast or jumping around. Try to see if Aqua's clear. Now, if Aqua's clear, or once you do clear this, there's going to be this bar. A lot of the times, the defender will sit behind this, and that's why you're Capital. Make sure luggage is good, too. So, shoot this door down. Take out your firebolt. Shoot it in there like that. Now, hold the run out. Free kill every single time. I'm pretty sure I got a kill just like this in the last Coastline video, too. Because they can't sit behind there with a fire going off. Now, if you have a duo or something, you can even go to the roof and do this safely from the little vent thing. Because I'm pretty sure it will go down to it. I'm not positive, but I think it will. And then the duo can just hold this. Like, right here. But you can also just do it yourself like I just did. Still works. Now, be careful this pixel on the bomb. They always try to peek from that. If there is somebody in Aqua, like I said, just try to trap them in there. The rotate right here, by the way, like the sight rotates right here. So you can hold that and get a lot of freebies. Now the best part about this, you're right next to sight, like it's literally 13 meters away. As you can see right there on the yellow ping. So if you just go right in, you're literally at sight already. So you can sit on this rappel for definitely over two minutes if you need to. In this drone as much as you need. If you have the diffuser too, I'll show you where to uh, plant once you have control of this room. Now, if you didn't use both your claimers before, another good spot is like right here for your flank, but usually that's not really a problem. I'll just be watching it myself most of the time. Once you've cleared everything up to this point, you can try to go for a plant right here if you do have the diffuser. Usually I don't take the diffuser myself. I just let my team do that, and I try to like play off of them because I know I can trust myself more than them for other things. Like, if they're going for a plan, I know I can trust myself to cover them. But if I'm going for a plan, I don't trust them whatsoever. You can't rely on randoms, man. That's a lot of people's downfall in solo queue. They put too much reliability on the randoms, and you just can't be doing that. That's how you lose. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, attack strat. I think this is a really good one. 
usually does work every time for me. It's a go-to on this map. But let's move on to the final one of the video. Before we move on to the next one, there are a couple of smokes as well that you'd want to do probably for the uh, plant if your team is pushing with you here. You can smoke off the rotate just like this, and you can smoke off close like that. Don't put the smoke right where you're planting because then you can't cover the guy planting yourself. Like, right now I'm going to see them come out of the smoke. It's going to be a free kill every time, but if I smoke right here, they'll just kill him before I even see him. Or there's a C4 and I can't shoot the C4. So, I would not recommend that. You could also fire like the rotate. Or fire like right here. That's the only way around them besides like over here. But yeah, Capital is really good for this plan, I believe. Very good operator in general. Very underrated somehow. Especially in solo queue. You can do a lot. You also have a Gon 6 if you need to clear like an zombie or something. Alright, so we've loaded into Emerald Plains. I know this is a bit weird. Um, Emerald Plains is not the most played map. I haven't played Emerald Plains on my videos in so long. I think it was one of the first ones last season I played. I did go 13-1, and one, so... I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing on this map, if we're being honest. So, on this site here, I do like using this Ellis Shot a ton. I actually do enjoy playing Emerald Plains a little bit more than I used to because of this. Just the strat alone, even, since it's the main site that people go to. Um, so first thing I do when I load in, I always just reinforce this for the team, because why not? At least I can do one reinforcement for us. Quickly run over to the other site first before you do anything else. I always throw an L mine right down here in the corner. They can't really see this from the window now, but it will go off right when they jump in. Same with this door, so you can kind of cover both at the uh, same time with that mine. So I always do that one for the team first. Um, then I come back over here. This is going to be like your main part of the strat. So right here, you want to put Barb Warrior on this like kind of interchangeable door. I don't know how you describe this, but yeah. Pretty much just that. And then you'll put an Elamine right here on this little lamp, first of all. Because now, right when they walk in, they'll think they're safe until they get to the bar, but the Elamine will go off and you know they're there. You'll be playing this stairway. This is going to be like your main spot. Now, if you're holding this, free kill when they hit the mine, because they won't turn back in time. They'll probably just keep going, not even expecting the mine to go off. To start the round, you can even play like right up here close to the door if somebody's trying to push into it. Wait for the L mine to go off. Swing. Free kill. Works like a charm every time for me. Um, then lower. Your barbed wire is going to go right here. Just like that before the stairs. You will hear them every time hit it still. If you want, you can put it a little higher. But I do like playing on the stairs themselves, so I don't really need it too high. Even that works like that. Because now I can hear the barb going off. Free kill. That's probably better, honestly, since they have to be like stuck more. Instead of being in cover down here, so I can't see him when I swing. If that makes sense. Um, also for this area, I always barricade these. Shoot this. Because it makes so much noise. Barricade this door, and then this door over here. Just like so. Now, since you have these barricades up, you will have any sound cues of people entering from this side of the map downstairs below you. And then you have these barricades for that side. So you're all good below, really. They rarely come from down here anyways, but... If they do, you will know. And you can play off that aggressively. Usually they will be alone. Um, be careful about this window too. Nobody really repels this in ranked, but I mean... It's there, so be careful if there is a weird rat doing it. Your last L of mine is going to go on this doorway, just in case they like push from this side of the map and you never see anybody. Or if they like hit this L of mine and get through before you can see them and never try to push you again. This will be their other way into sight, so you do want something on this for your team and for you to know yourself, so just put it in the corner like that. I mean, they can see that one because it landed on the plant, but there, that works. Just like so. Maybe a little lower in case they get the breach, because then they can't see behind the half wall here. Usually they'll go for this breach. Somebody's going to try to jump in that window over there. We put the LMI on. They'll push from here, maybe one guy below, one guy like over there by the other stairs. And yeah, I think this is a pretty solid strat. It covers most bases. You can do this with um, other operators, like I said before. I like using procs mine sometimes, like Wamai or something, so I can't get stunned too. So put the procs like up here, or put it like up here. Put Wamai magnets here. Maybe put Wamai's on that actually, then the procs. So it eats up the um, stuns or grenades first, or whatever they're shooting at you. Like for the barbed wire. Maybe put like a procs on the door even, or... Sorry, I want my magnet on the door. Again, to help the barbed wire. And then put some Wamai's up here. And you'll be pretty much safe. 
Ella's just my personal favorite for this one. Another good one's like Mozzie. Mozzie actually does a barb if you didn't know. So you can go Mozzie, put the same thing here. Pest off the door so they can't drone, even double pest it if you want. Pest off over here so they can't drone past the breach when they open it. And he's actually pretty good with the uh, commando now. Also another good option is Cade Barb Wire. So again, you're losing the Ella Mines, but you still have the barb. And you can Cade off the wall from here. And if you need to, you can even trick it later on. You can just stand like right here at the start. Since you'll be here anyway. And you can keep on tricking it. And if you can keep the wall closed, that heightens your chances a lot. And I do love the Cade ACOG shotgun a lot as well. But yeah, that's going to do it for the last strat, I think. Not much else to go over. I hope you guys did find these strats helpful and enjoyed again, just like the last one. Tell me if you want a part three. It'll probably be coming regardless because you guys really love the first one. Um, again, full solo queue games will be coming back soon as well in the next couple of days, I'd imagine. I just have to start playing again. I just haven't played for a bit now. But they will be returning, I promise again. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down there below as well. We're almost at 30,000 subs. Absolutely crazy to me still. I don't even know how that's possible, but hey, we're here now, man. I'm going to keep making these for you guys. So yeah, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.